Howdy y'all, it's Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another chemistry lesson and today we're going to talk about stoichiometry and excess reactants. So get your periodic table, get your polyatomic ion cheat sheet, and get your calculator. I'm going to make a few assumptions. I'm going to assume that you can write chemical equations, you can balance a chemical equation, you are familiar with moles and molar mass, and you know what stoichiometry is. And if you have trouble with any of these lessons whatsoever, go to my YouTube channel and find a video on that lesson and get prepared. All right, the problem. Find the amounts of the excess reactant and each product if 15 grams of cobalt 2 nitrate reacts with 19.54 grams of potassium sulfate. Okay, let's analyze the problem here. We are looking for excess reactant and the excess reactant is the leftovers. What do we have left over after um, the two reactants have reacted? And then we want to look for the products. And of course, we know the products are the new stuff. Let's develop a plan for this. I'm going to write a balanced chemical equation, then change the grams of reactants to moles, determine the limiting and excess reactants, use molar mass to find the grams of excess reactant, calculate the grams of each product. All right, to the blackboard. Let's look at the balanced equation. Cobalt 2 nitrate and potassium sulfate will produce what? Uh, they'll produce cobalt uh, 2 sulfate and potassium nitrate. Now, if you're not sure about how this was done, I have another video that shows this uh, very same uh, reaction and how we got the products. So let's calculate the molar masses. Cobalt 2 nitrate equals 182.95 grams and potassium sulfate is 174.27 grams and cobalt sulfate is going to be 155 grams and potassium nitrate is going to be 101.11 grams. Now, if you're not sure how to do any of this, I have a video out there that shows you how we calculate molar masses. All right, let's change grams to moles. 15.0 grams of cobalt 2 nitrate divided by the molar mass of cobalt 2 nitrate will give us 19.54 grams of potassium moles of sulfate of cobalt 2 nitrate. Now, 19.54 grams of potassium sulfate divided by the molar mass of potassium sulfate and we'll just plug and chug that will give us 0.1121 moles of potassium sulfate. Now you'll notice we used less cobalt 2 nitrate than we did potassium sulfate. Therefore, cobalt 2 nitrate is the limiting reactant and of course then there's going to be extra uh, potassium sulfate. So it's our excess reactant. Now let's find out the grams of excess. Cobalt 2 nitrate is our limiting reactant. So potassium sulfate is going to be our excess reactant and we have 0 0.0820 moles of cobalt uh, 2 nitrate and the mole reaction ratio is 1 to 1 which means then we can only get 0 0.0820 moles of potassium sulfate. That's all we can use of that one. We're going to use the same number of moles of potassium sulfate as we are cobalt 2 nitrate. Now, if we subtract the amount that we used from the amount we had present, we'll get 0 0.0301 moles potassium sulfate. And now we can take that mole, multiply it to the molar mass, and we will have our amount of excess, what's left over. And there are 5.25 grams of potassium sulfate left over. So we found the grams of excess. All right, let's find the grams of the products. First, cobalt 2 sulfate. And uh, there's the reaction again. We know that cobalt 2 nitrate was the limiting reactant and we had 0 0.0820 moles of it. The mole ratio of the cobalt 2 nitrate to cobalt to sulfate was a one to one ratio and therefore we can only have 0 0.0820 moles of cobalt to sulfate produced. Take that and multiply it to its molar mass and that will give us grams. Plug and chug and we get 12.7 grams 
of cobalt to sulfate and I'm using three sig figs. Now, let's look at grams of uh, potassium nitrate. A little different here this time because even though the others were one to one, this is a two to one ratio. So we have 0 0.0820 moles of cobalt to nitrate. The mole ratio is one to two here. So we're gonna have twice as many moles of potassium nitrate. And so that'll be 0.164 moles of potassium nitrate. Now we take that number, multiply it to the molar mass, plug and chug it, and we get 16.6 grams of potassium nitrate. You determine the limiting reactant, you changed grams to moles, you changed moles to grams, you determine the grams of each product, and you calculated the excess reactant as well. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, check out some of my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Happy Ange, y'all.